Good afternoon. I'm David Sears with the KSAT 12 News Update. What was thought to be a deadly crash on I-35 over the weekend may have been a road rage murder. The Bear County Medical Examiner's Office now says a young man was shot in the head before the car crash in Selma. Witnesses told some of police that Joseph Benalis' vehicle swerved near the Forum Shopping Center, then struck a median. Benalis was a 22-year-old nursing student at UIW. His family told KSAT they believe he was the victim of a road rage incident. The family says Benalis had just dropped his girlfriend off at her house after a military ball and was on the phone with her during the crash. They tell us that she heard the engine rev up and then heard a bang. Then the phone call cut off. Benalis was pronounced dead at the scene. A giant hole in the pavement on the west side street is still there. However, the storm drain pipe that caused it has been replaced. That is according to an update from the city of San Antonio's Public Works Department. The city tells us that the broken pipe is the reason for this sinkhole on Calabria Road near North General McMullen. Right now, crews are examining the drainage infrastructure, the street around the hole. The eastbound lanes of Calabria Road will stay closed for now, but hopefully they will reopen on Thursday. And the Bear County Commissioner's Court decided the San Antonio Spurs can play more home games outside of San Antonio. The commissioners voted to approve the team's request to extend an agreement that will allow the Spurs to play more home games in Austin over the next two seasons. The team will be allowed to play two games in Austin and one international game over the next two seasons. The deal still needs to be approved by the NBA. That's the latest for now. We do have some light showers in the area. Adam Kasky will let you know if those are going to stick around, get heavier, or move on. That's on KSAT 12 News at 5. In the meantime, have a great Tuesday afternoon.